Yeah, Hung, can you hear me? All right, how about you now? Printing exam. Oh yeah, very a good example, but you had to print exam. Is there some some activity that people do that uh, that unnecessarily waste? Oh, oh yeah, really good. Uh, so you think that we can like print print less than good like that and yes. save more water? Yeah, yes. I agree. Uh huh. And when you wait in traffic. So what do you waste when you wait in traffic? Can you? I think maybe gas because yeah. you produce gas when you ride motorbike or car or like any vehicle except bicycle or electric yeah. bike. Uh-huh. Yeah, so you waste fuel. You waste fuel for your vehicle. And yes, you also waste your time. Nice idea. How about electricity? What do you do that waste electricity? Oh, uh, bạn When you use some like fan or air conditioner, uh, mm -hmm. when you get out and you keep it turned on and you got turn on, it's waste electricity. Oh yeah, so when you use any electric appliance, and when you don't use it anymore, you forgot about it. You yes. just left it on, yeah. Yeah, that weighs a lot of electricity. How about money? This is this will this will be a tricky question. Can you? I think you will waste money when you buy unnecessary things. Mm -hmm. Can you give me an example? Maybe we buy some, maybe we buy a backpack and we don't use it. Or we buy some books or novels and we don't read it. So it's a waste of money. Yeah, yeah. You buy something that you can't, can't use or you don't plan to use that much. How about when you wait in a queue? Sư Vít Sư Hama à, Đây là cái bác break out room cho lớp của mấy bạn học IELTS á Không biết là Sư có vô nhầm không? Ok, I'm not sure that yet. she's there uh, But let's get back to the lesson What do you waste when you wait in a queue? Uh, yeah Hân, can you give me an example? Yeah, Hung, are you there? Okay. How about Ngọc Giao? Uh, I think that is waste time. Mm -hmm. Waste time. Definitely. I hate waiting in queue. Waste my time. Okay. Now let's move on to exercise two. You are going to watch a video, and these are some comments posted under the video. Okay, and guess, can you guess what is the video about? <laughs> All right, I will give you some time to let you read the uh, ending. All right, guys, can you take a guess of what this video is about? Can I invite Juna? Juna, you there? Okay, how about Bảo Ngọc? Yeah. All right, so can you guess what will 
the what is the video that we are gonna watch is about? So after read some comments, I think that the video talk about the American the Americans buy lots of food in the supermarket, mm -hmm. and they wait food waste. Yeah, food. yeah, I think so. What about the Netherlands? Do you know where is the ne ne Netherlands? Uh, it's a country in Europe. Yeah. I mean, so in the uh, in the comments, they mentioned the Netherlands. So why do they mention the ne Netherlands? Uh, All right, I, I, that, want, uh, I want to people... ask. I want to ask this question for Khan Ngoc. I think like also because our, our previous exercise, maybe mm -hmm. this is because wasting something. Yeah. Because that's the common say, why do people waste so much food? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And maybe there's a difference between living in the States and living in Netherlands. So people are like comparing it. Yeah, that's very good. You, you, you are almost there, but okay. Now, before we watch the video, I want to introduce to you some vocabulary. Okay, this is a lot, right? But just bear with me. We have six phrases. The first phrase is pedestrianized areas, which means an area or zone where vehicles are not allowed and only pedestrian people walking can access. Um, do you, can you come up with an example of this in Vietnam? Anybody know an, an, an example of this in Vietnam? Chu Nam, do you know any? Uh, we have streets. Yeah, maybe. yeah, yeah. We all have yeah. a street. Um, Gum Lake, uh, the area around the, the lake in Hanoi. Yeah. Um, they are also like pe people can drive a car there or drive a bike there. So that is what pedestrianized area are. How about fresh produce? <laughs> this word ha it has two meanings. So usually you probably going to pronounce this word as produce, produced, which means to make something. If you produce something, you make something. However, if you put the stress on the second syllable, produce, produce, and it means uh, vegetable. It, it means fresh food or food item. So fresh produce is fresh food vegetable and any food items that have not been processed or preserved. Another word is ordeal, a difficult, tiring, or unpleasant experience. Now, the fourth word here is car-centric. Car-centric, which means focusing or centering around cars. Like cars will be the main means of transportation. In Vietnamese, we we are not quite car centric, but we are similar. We are, I would say, motorbike centric. Because everything in our life, in our street, are designed at least for the motorbike. One more word is quantity. Quantity is just a fancy way of saying a number or an amount of something, and the last thing, the, the last vocabulary we're going to learn today is book shopping culture. Book is like a large quantity of something. So when you go book shopping, you buy a large quantity of item at a time and usually, hopefully, at a low lower cost per unit. All right. Now. We will watch the video and can you look at exercise three on your own? 
exercise three. Watch the video and choose which of the points below were the purpose of the video. Now, let me share with you the audio with the video. Um, you guys seen this? Guys, are you guys seen this? Yeah. Okay. All right. There are a lot of grocery stores in Amsterdam, like a lot. Here's one, and here's another. And just in case you missed those, there's one over there too. Grocery stores, markets, butchers, and bakers are woven into the urban fabric so that no matter where you are, you're only a short walk to somewhere where you can buy fresh food. In the Netherlands, most people prefer to make small trips to buy food for today or the next few days rather than large weekly or fortnightly shopping trips by car. This by itself isn't that unusual. Most cities I've been to in Europe and Asia have grocery stores and markets dotted throughout the city. What's interesting about the Netherlands is how optimized everything is to make your grocery shopping trip as fast as possible. Shops are not set back behind a sea of parking, so it's easy to stop in if you're walking by. In fact, many grocery stores do not have any car parking at all, and it's common to see them in pedestrianized areas accessible only by walking or cycling. Of course, bicycle parking is always provided right out front, making it also very quick to shop by bicycle. Just pull up and lock the bike. Grab some reusable shopping bags and get a basket. Some of the more modern shops provide hand scanners that allow you to scan your items as you shop. Scanning each item as you place it in your bag also means you don't need to rebag your groceries at the checkout. Since everything has already been scanned, the checkout process is very quick. Just tap your contactless payment card and grab your receipt. The exit gate opens when you scan your receipt. Drop the bags back into the bike, unlock, and we're off. For a typical grocery trip, I can be in and out in less than 10 minutes, and it's easy to do whenever I'm on my way home. If you'd rather not buy plastic wrap foods and only interact with machines, there are markets available too. Often, these have better prices, especially on fresh produce. And if you'd prefer to have your vegetables hand-polished and looking like a magazine shoot, you can visit shops the Dutch like to call vegetable jewelers. That is, if you can afford them. It's honestly refreshing to live somewhere where grocery shopping isn't some big ordeal. In Canada or in the US, I would literally spend more time just waiting at traffic lights on the way to the grocery store than my entire trip to the grocery store here in the Netherlands. I always found the North American car-centric grocery trip to be really messed up. Driving out to the edge of town in heavy traffic, waiting in huge checkout lines, buying everything in massive quantities, effectively turning your house into a convenience store just to save a few bucks. And who eats this much food? The truth is, nobody does. The US and Canada have the highest level of food waste in the world. Almost one quarter of all food purchased by consumers goes to waste, and the bulk shopping culture definitely plays a part in that. You're much less likely to eat fresh food if you're buying it in bulk for the week rather than if you stop on your way home from work. Of course, when everyone is forced to travel everywhere by car, nothing is a quick trip anymore, especially in rush hour. There have been several times where our family has lived without a car in various cities around the world. When you tell this to someone in North America, often the first question they ask will be, but how do you buy groceries? I like buying groceries in small quantities. It allows us to eat whatever we're in the mood for that day. And with two boys who eat a lot, it's good that unexpected grocery trips are quick. Small grocery trips make it easier for our family to eat healthy, fresh food, and we're less likely to have food that goes to waste. It's nice to live in Amsterdam, where quick grocery trips are not just possible, they're actively encouraged. And nobody ever asks us, but how do you buy groceries? All right. Now let's return to the lesson. Okay, so now that you have watched the video, can you answer, can you choose which of the points below were the purpose of the video? All right, I will give you one minute to look over the, all the points and decide.
All right. So what were the main purpose of the video? Hannah. I think that the main purpose of this video is to compare shopping habits in the Netherlands and North America. Like, mm -hmm. because at first it shows that in Netherlands, people, it like, it's mostly like pedestrian areas. Yeah. And people usually shop by bicycling, biking, and mm -hmm. they have this something technology that they just need to scan the code while they're shopping. However, yeah. in North America, they use car more. And when they finish shopping, they need to line up in a queue and like the original way, like they just get some one to check one by one. Mm -hmm. All right. Any other point? Remember, the point in the question are pl is plural. Point. So any other point? Now, yeah, what, what are your ideas on this? Now, yeah, can you hear me? How about yeah? Okay. So I'm sorry, now, yeah. What, what were you trying to say? Um, I can hear you, but it's not very clearly. Oh, oh okay. Internet problem. How about Ye Hung though? Ye Hung, are you there? Okay, she's not there. How about Chu Nam? Chu Nam, what are your ideas on this? What are the main points of the video? Aside uh, from the main point to say that uh, people like the whole the big malls are like wasting foods too much mm -hmm. uh, also and uh, people while to move on a bit most people have to use cars and many of them would many of the cars will make the road really like a traffic jams and, and wasting too much of the oils and uh, yeah like okay. this so I mean, what the point in all of these points? Like yes, uh, yeah. I think it's to recommend cycling. Recommend cycling. Yes. Reasonable enough. Anything else? Uh, to show quicker way to. Oh uh, no. Why not? Oh okay. To. Yeah. yeah to so, give such things. To give suggestion on how to waste less food. Yeah. <clears throat> so we have, I would say three because I'm not really sure what recommending cycling. Uh, I have, I would agree that there are three main points of the video. First is to compare shopping habits in the Netherlands and North America. The second is to show a quicker way to shop for grocery. You don't have to go to a supermarket once a week. You, you should just go to a local grocery store um, like one or two days in one once every one or two days. And the last main point is to give suggestion on how to waste less food. So let's re relate, relate this back to our country. How do you think um, our shopping habit is compared to America and Dutch? Can you compare our shopping habit to that of the Netherlands or the US? Can you say yes, please? So compare from what you, you have seen from the video, um, what do you think about the shopping habits in our country? In Vietnam? Uh, yes, in Vietnam. Do you think that it is more similar to the Netherlands or more similar to the United States? I think it's similar to the United States mm -hmm. because Why? you need need to drive a car to find some big supermarket because in the mm -hmm. big supermarket you can find a lot of useful food or everything you want. But in yeah. the small 
it's more market like convenience store. You cannot buy everything you you want. Uh -huh, so I yeah. think our country is same with the United States. Yeah. Any other ideas? Uh, I, I'm 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 asking uh, other students, not you, Okay, you I'm thinking the same. How about can you? Can you say, wait, do you mean save us, Bao Ngoc, or like? Khánh Ngoc, Khánh Ngoc. Wait, can you say the question again? I. Um, do you think that the shopping habit in our country is more similar to that of in the US or in the Netherlands? I think more in the US mm -hmm. because I think like in Vietnam, it's not as more than us the Netherlands. Yeah. And moreover, in Vietnam, we don't really have like biking areas as well. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. So you agree with Bao Ngoc. And yeah, I agree with all of you too. I think I feel that our shopping habit is more or less more similar to the United States. Okay, now we will watch the video again and list five facts about grocery shopping in the Netherlands and in North America. So just pick uh, what are the habits of North American and what are the habits of uh, Netherlands. All right, ready? We will watch the video once again. There are a lot of grocery stores in Amsterdam, like a lot. Here's one, and here's another. And just in case you missed those, there's one over there too. Grocery stores, markets, butchers, and bakers are woven into the urban fabric so that no matter where you are, you're only a short walk to somewhere where you can buy fresh food. In the Netherlands, most people prefer to make small trips to buy food for today or the next few days rather than large weekly or fortnightly shopping trips by car. This by itself isn't that unusual. Most cities I've been to in Europe and Asia have grocery stores and markets dotted throughout the city. What's interesting about the Netherlands is how optimized everything is to make your grocery shopping trip as fast as possible. Shops are not set back behind a sea of parking, so it's easy to stop in if you're walking by. In fact, many grocery stores do not have any car parking at all, and it's common to see them in pedestrianized areas accessible only by walking or cycling. Of course, bicycle parking is always provided right out front, making it also very quick to shop by bicycle. Just pull up and lock the bike. Grab some reusable shopping bags and get a basket. Some of the more modern shops provide hand scanners that allow you to scan your items as you shop. Scanning each item as you place it in your bag also means you don't need to rebag your groceries at the checkout. Since everything has already been scanned, the checkout process is very quick. Just tap your contactless payment card and grab your receipt. The exit gate opens when you scan your receipt. Drop the bags back into the bike, unlock, and we're off. For a typical grocery trip, I can be in and out in less than 10 minutes, and it's easy to do whenever I'm on my way home. If you'd rather not buy plastic wrap foods and only interact with machines, there are markets available too. Often, these have better prices, especially on fresh produce. And if you'd prefer to have your vegetables hand-polished and looking like a magazine shoot, you can visit shops the Dutch like to call vegetable jewelers. That is, if you can afford them. It's honestly refreshing to live somewhere where grocery shopping isn't some big ordeal. In Canada or in the US, I would literally spend more time just waiting at traffic lights on the way to the grocery store than my entire trip to the grocery store here in the Netherlands. I always found the North American car-centric grocery trip to be really messed up. Driving out to the edge of town in heavy traffic, waiting in huge checkout lines, Buying everything in massive quantities, effectively turning your house into a convenience store just to save a few bucks. And who eats this much food? The truth is, nobody does. The US and Canada have the highest level of food waste in the world. Almost one quarter of all food purchased by consumers goes to waste, and the bulk shopping culture definitely plays a part in that. You're much less likely to eat fresh food if you're buying it in bulk for the week rather than if you stop on your way home from work. Of course, when everyone is forced to travel everywhere by car, nothing is a quick trip anymore, especially in rush hour. There have been several times where our family has lived without a car in various cities around the world. 
When you tell this to someone in North America, often the first question they ask will be, but how do you buy groceries? I like buying groceries in small quantities. It allows us to eat whatever we're in the mood for that day. And with two boys who eat a lot, it's good that unexpected grocery trips are quick. Small grocery trips make it easier for our family to eat healthy, fresh food, and we're less likely to have food that goes to waste. It's nice to live in Amsterdam where quick grocery trips are not just possible, they're actively encouraged. And nobody ever asks us, but how do you buy groceries? All right, guys, have you not, not have you noted down five facts about shopping in the Netherlands and the U.S.? Right. Anybody volunteer to share their finding? I I invite of y'all. Yes. Uh, in the Netherlands, they have a lot of convenience store sell shoppies. Mm -hmm. Uh, besides that, they also have um little store beside that that convenience. So we can buy fresh food. Um, it's just that. But in USA, we must waiting an hour in check out life. Just uh, just for buy some little food. Mm -hmm. Uh, we must waiting in traffic lights on the way to go to the grocery store. And yeah. the problem here is car centric. It's a mess signal. Mm, yeah, uh, I agree with you. We, yeah, so buy food in the USA, we will waste time and waste food too because no one eats that. It's a lot of food. Um, I don't know. Okay, to sum up, just waste time and waste food in the USA. But in the Netherlands, we can uh, limit it more. We also protect the environment because we go to bicycle than the car. Yeah, very good answer. Yeah. Okay, thank you. How about two name? What have you noted there? Uh, right here. Um, right in Netherlands, we have uh too many convenience stores. Uh, mm -hmm. We have yellow quantities so much. Uh, but these uh convenience stores they don't able. There's uh too many areas that enable for cars or vehicles. So their people choose to use a uh, bike or work mm -hmm. out of using cars like uh, Americans. Like, uh, Americans, they have uh, big malls. People have to buy a lot of quantities just to save some, some of the uh, bucks. Yeah, some of their monies, uh, and they're wasting a lot of oil while they move and waste all of their time because of traffic. Uh, and Netherlands, uh, people, they they have a uh, electric uh way to do the checkout so yeah. that they can they could check out uh, easily, so they can go out, not mm -hmm. like to, uh, I guess, uh, Americans, they have to wait on uh, a lot of checkouts, and it's uh, kind of really, uh, like, it really wasting their time, so, yeah. Yeah, so in the net nearly, you can just check out on your own, because they have the technology. Yes. But in the US, yes. you're going to have to wait a yes. lot of time. Yeah. And Han Yang, do you have any other ideas? Well, I think that I have a fact, but I think <clears throat> I heard someone mentioning is like people in US and Canada throw away a quarter of their food with, of what they buy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A quarter. Yeah, a quarter. And moreover, like people in America tended to shop for week more than daily, like people in the Netherlands, because 
they just like get the car drop once and go back. And yeah. people shop more because things are packed in like groups and mm -hmm. they kind of got a cheaper price. Mm -hmm. Right. So yeah. um, let's sum up the point that people go to the US, they, they buy in a like, large quantity. They buy in bulk because it, it's cheaper that way. But uh, the video say maybe it's not worth it. And what is it? Oh yeah, and the can Canadian and the uni and American, they waste a lot of food. They waste a quarter of their food by 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 shopping this way. All right, very good. Now, I want you to discuss these questions. Does your grocery shopping look look more like Dutch or not American shopping? Why? And which of these aspects are important to you when you do gro your grocery shopping and why? I, I will give you five minutes to think about these questions.
All right, you guys finished? Okay, then let's start with the first question. Does groceries shopping, does your groceries shopping looks more like the Dutch or the American shopping? Why? All right, anybody volunteer? Can I invite Bạn Ngọc? Yes. Mm -hmm. The first question is the question of serving the choice. Mm. In my opinion, uh, our grocery shopping is look like North America. And I think that in the North America, people uh, went to some big supermarket to buy lots of things and the checkout line is very crowded. It's like in Vietnam and when people in Vietnam, when people go in the shop, supermarket, they buy a lot of and the checkout line is always crowded and each person, the play card that is, maybe we can say, is uh, always full. They buy a lot of things. And I think our grocery shopping is like North America. I think so. Right. So you think that your shopping is similar to the North American? How about uh, your name? I think that uh, the grocery and Dutch. It's more similar to Vietnam, but in my opinion, these uh, all grocery are not as similar as Vietnam. Like Dutch, they have a te technology for people to check out, while in Vietnam, people just sourcing. Like there are some people to check out for you, but it's actually you, they have uh, their own thinking about the values of the uh the things so you may have these uh, things uh will change their price since you check out the first one and later on a few months they may have uh go just upper their prices I don't know uh but I like, touch they may that the technology will make the uh, like the prices will just good and you may have a fair one to buy and you can buy a lot of things like um fresh fruit or uh, fresh food like uh vegetables uh foods and even uh fruits. So you can buy it while well, grocery in Vietnam are uh, have less of them. Yeah, I think I get. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now let's move on to the second question. Which of these aspects are more important for you when you do your grocery shopping? Why? Now let's start with Kanya. Well, I think the important aspect for me is like, I want to save money. I don't, and uh, I don't want to waste food and I want the shopping to be relaxing. Uh, for the first aspect is I want to save money. I chose that because um, maybe like sometimes I would be on a tight budget. So I want to save money. However, I want to be like, I not like, not because I want to save money, I will buy things in large quantity. Like, even though like I still want to not, not wasting food. So I will try to spend things like, sometimes they are on sale and I want shopping to be relaxing. Like after my hard working day, I want shopping to be something that I can enjoy, not like having headache with it. Yeah, me too. Me too. Okay. How about Ngoc Yao? 
Uh, I think the most important for me when I go to grocery shopping is to save money too. Um, mm -hmm. furthermore, I don't want to waste food or waste time. And of course, when I uh, do not waste food or waste time, I also can. I also want to buy fresh food too. Um, and the reason is, um, I don't. I don't think of a reason now. It's just um it just make me comfortable when I go to shopping and mm -hmm. um and good for my health. Yeah. It's just that. Yeah. And can we hear one last answer from Bang? Bang, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay. I answer this one. Huh? I'm sorry. I, what? Am, I answer this question. Question number two. Yeah, yeah. Question number two. Which of these aspects are important to you? It's a little bit hard because I don't go to buy food in supermarket a lot. Oh. But uh, in my opinion, I think that I want to eat fresh food and I want to save money. Okay. Yeah. So, me too. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't have lots of money, so I want to save my money. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. I think that will be all for today. We will both be off a little bit earlier than usual, but I have uh, stuff to do. All right. So, any questions? No? Okay. Then we can end this class by this. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Goodbye, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher.